You see this? I made this in 12 minutes and now I'm going to show you how to make this in X amount of minutes. Because I have no idea how long this video will be. And does it look like I care? I do. First step, find your waifu. But wait, make sure it's a full body picture. Images like the aqua face won't work. However, what do work are logos, full body images, letters, block. But I'm trying to say that don't get a picture that is cropped like this, like this, or like this. You get me fam? Okay, now after you've downloaded your non-existent waifu, it's time to open Photoshop. Create a new document. Because I don't know how big the handmade logo is, I'm going to make mine 800 times 800. Find the rectangle tool and right click on it and left click on ellipse tool. Now, click on the screen once. Make it 600 times 600 pixels. Pixels, sir, sir. Pick my f that word, man, that word is so effing hard, dude. Now that you've got that circle, make it this color. Or just copy the code right here, you see this code? <laughs> Add your waifu and color overlay here to white by right clicking here and going to blend options. After you've made your waifu full white, it's time to resize her. Not that type of white, Ed. <laughs> Get Get that naughty voice out, yeah. As for logos, it's pretty much the same, except that circle logos might not work well. I mean, you're adding a circle logo onto a circle. How dumb does that look? So anyways, here's my finished project. After all that thing, quick export the thing to a PNG. Now it's time for the fun. Open Premiere Pro and create a new project. There's a lot of P's in there. Okay. <laughs> but before you drag anything into the media tab, make a new sequence, find ar find this thing and take the 1920 times 80 1080 30 FP. Holy crap, there's a lot of numbers. And now you can add the recently rendered anime logo. And I know you have your own ways to download your media, so add the anime.tv opening. .mp3. Resize the logo, big man. Scale it down, yes. Yeah? Scale it, scale it down. I don't know what I'm doing. Add the basic 3D into the anime logo and time it. This takes time, but hey, if you want the perfect logo, intro, whatever this thing is, then it will take time. I spent only 40 seconds on it, but hey, who the f cares? Add the text and write your name or something. I don't know your brand I guess and do not do like me and make sure it's under the logo the text is under the logo layer logo now it's time to play with the positions of the logo aka more timing make sure you ease in and ease out the movement so it looks more professional I don't know why people say it looks more professional if you ease in and ease out I can see no difference but hey <laughs> If it makes me a professional, then I'll, I'll sure make it. As for the end, cut it and add some kind of a blur. I forgot what the blur was called, but I went with Gaussian Blur. Is that how you actually say it? I don't know and I don't care. On Sony Vegas, I do believe it's the same, so nice. And also in Sony Vegas, I think the 3D transition I used in Premiere is already in there uh, as a preset, so go ahead and use that. Now add the cross dissolved transitions at these places. For those who have been watching my other tutorials, this might sound like a deja vu. I don't make just one versions. I'll make two. Anyways, here's the end project. Bye.